Welcome to one of my latest listings. This is 10336 Trevino Lane in Benbrook, Texas. This house has recently, recently been flipped and we're gonna go over a lot of that as we go through the home tour portion here in a minute um, as we show you all the new upgrades and things like that that are really nice. Then after the home tour, I wanna to take it back to my office and I wanna walk you through the affordability and, and the numbers behind the house. I wanna show you the comps, potential payments, um, and ways that you can make this house even more affordable. Why is it such a good deal financially? If this is your first time watching one of my videos, well, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyle Lindsay. I'm a local realtor here in DFW. I'm on the Smith team brokered by eXp Realty. And my specialty is helping people who currently own a home buy another one when they need to sell their current one. That is one of the most difficult transactions in real estate. And if you are even possibly considering that, it could be worth your time to set up a meeting because you need a realtor that has a proven plan and process to make that as easy and stress-free as possible. So before we get into the home tour here, I want to talk a little bit more about the area and the location surrounding this house. This house is located in the Hills of Whitestone, which is in Benbrook, a suburb of Southwest Fort Worth. The neighborhood does have an HOA and is right off of Chapin School Road, right in between 377 and I-20. Everyone I've met in this neighborhood has been very friendly and the neighborhood just gives off a good vibe. Lake Benbrook is also nearby, so if you like to fish or swim, there's a marina and several different parks, all with boat ramps, and there's a campground. Check the description for a link to more info on the lake. Very close by, there's also a lot of restaurants and shopping right off 377, including a Walmart. And a little bit, for about five, 10 minutes down the highway, the Bryant Irvin area and the Hewland Mall area also has a ton of shopping and restaurants for you. A little bit further away, 10 or 20 minutes away, is downtown Fort Worth. And I don't need to tell you too much about that because that is one of the coolest places in all of DFW. So this location really does check all the boxes for anyone looking for a fantastic home. Now you know what a great location this, this house is in. Let's actually go take a look at the inside. Hey, welcome inside. So like I mentioned before, this house has been flipped. So when we walk through the house, I wanna point out a few features, but keep in mind as you look, every surface in this house has been repainted. The ceilings, the walls, the trim, the doors, everything. A lot of the light switches and the sockets have been replaced. So they look very clean, very nice and white. Uh, and so as we go through, even the smoke detectors and the fire alarms, all of those have been replaced. They're all brand new and the ceiling fans. So keep an eye on those as we walk through. Now, before we get to the kitchen and I show you the amazing amount of cabinets and counter space, I wanna show you the secondary bedrooms and bathroom, which are right up front here. Now, this first room is right at the front of the house and has these two big, beautiful windows, which I really like. Also, as we go through, both of these secondary rooms have huge closets. They're both walk-in closets, and I think that is a very strong selling point for the house. Now, as we walk past, we're gonna zoom past the, uh, the bathroom here. There's a coat closet though, right here, right for, as you get in between the two bedrooms. And then this secondary bedroom here doesn't have those two big windows. So it has a little bit more of a private feel, which I like. And this closet is even bigger. Now, inside each of the closets, we have also replaced those lights at the top with uh, uh, LED kind of, um, recessed mounted light, that's the word I was looking for, recess. And in the secondary bedroom, or sorry, sorry, secondary bathroom, in the secondary bathroom, there's also uh, the quartz countertops, brand new light fixtures, and a brand new, uh, and a brand new shower head. As we move into the rest of the house, the we obviously come right to the living room, kitchen, dining area. Now I love how open this room is. There's so much space to, to eat, cook, dine, gather, whatever you wanna do in this room. Uh, you can configure it a lot of different ways. You even have this nice wood burning fireplace right here. Um, and one of my favorite features of the house is the sheer amount of cabinets and counter space you have back here behind me. Uh, as we move obviously into the kitchen area, you can take a look and see all of the, the cabinets that you have here. Um, there's probably more counter space in this house than any other house this size. That's what it's a really cool feature. And keep in mind, every single counter in the house is replaced with this nice white quartz. Obviously right on the other side of the kitchen is your utility, your laundry room, which leads into the garage, which 
We're not going to show you today, but if you'd like to come see it, you can schedule a private showing with my with me or um, your own agent. As we move back into the kitchen, you get a look at all of the again once the oh, I keep saying it, but all the counter space, all the cabinets, and we have the pantry right back here now. This isn't the largest pantry you're ever gonna see. A lot of new builds have gigantic pantries, but it gives you a ton of space for storage in addition to all of the cabinets. I just really can't imagine that you wouldn't have enough space to store all of your food and your kitchen items and all that stuff. Um, also keep in mind, all of the sinks in the house have been replaced and they are brand new. So that's the, the, the bathroom sinks and this kitchen sink, all brand new. As we move into the primary bedroom and bathroom, we'll come back to the patio, which is huge and also one of my favorite features. I got a lot of favorite features about this house. The primary bedroom is this nice big room. In between the two windows back over here, you have plenty of room for a king size bed with nightstands on either side. So plenty of room for your furniture in here. And then there's a huge primary bathroom that you're gonna love. So in the primary bathroom, just like the other one, all the countertops are brand new, new light fixtures up top. There are new faucets at each sink. And of course, every surface has been repainted again, just like the rest of the house. So over to my left here, well, there's also a huge primary closet that we'll show you here in just a second. There is a separate bathtub. It is a nice big garden bathtub with a separate shower. So, you know, if you ever need to shower um, while someone else takes a bath at the same time, you can, no big deal. Let's take a look at the uh, this nice big closet right here too. All right, so I'm in this big primary closet and you can see that there are two different shelving units plus a ton of places for your hangers um, and storage on the top. You could probably even add another shelf if you really wanted to. Might be a little tight for that, but um, this closet is six foot by 12 foot. It is massive for this size of a house. You just don't normally see closets this big in a three bedroom, two bath house. Um, if you're curious about any of the other dimensions in the house, like any of the bedroom size, things like that, I have the, a link in the description uh, below where you can get the floor plan and all of the other pictures and information about the house as well. Welcome to this gigantic patio. So if you're like me, you love spending some time outdoors, especially in this nice big covered patio. Uh, it's when the weather's nice, maybe it's coffee in the morning, you come out here and relax. Um, or maybe it's a few drinks with some friends in the afternoon. There's also plenty of space on this patio for dining uh, set, maybe just uh, some chairs and a nice little uh, couch area, whatever, where you wanna sit and gather. Um, also plenty of space in addition to that, you could also have a spot for your grill, for a smoker, Blackstone, whatever it is you like to cook on out here. There's a ton of space in this patio. You also have a good sized backyard. So if you have pets or children that wanna, wanna come out here and play and, and enjoy the nice backyard, you have plenty of space for that in addition to all of these big, beautiful, mature crate myrtles. Um, they're blooming right now, so it's a fantastic look at what this yard, how relaxing it could be and how peaceful it is out here. Uh, one of the other benefits of the Benbrook area, um, this in particular, is you don't have very much road noise when you're outside. So I know a lot of areas now are closer to highways, and so you get a lot of road noise. This is not one of them. It's one of the, my favorite things about this house is this backyard patio and sitting area. Now that you've seen the patio and the backyard, let's go back inside and wrap up this, this home tour portion of the video. So that's the home tour. So I showed you earlier in the video, the neighborhood and the area and what a great location this is. Now you've seen the home tour, you've seen all the upgrades, all the new paint, the countertops, um, all the new lighting and all the fixtures, all that stuff. Um, you can see all the giant cabinets back here and the giant patio. So hopefully you are, if you're still with me in this part of the video, I'm guessing you like the house. If you'd like to schedule a private showing, contact your realtor, the address and everything you need to let them know about is in the description below. If you don't have a realtor, or you'd like to book a private showing with me, there's also a link in the description below to do that. So you can come see it either way. Now, if you're like me and you wanna geek out about the numbers a little bit, or you're not entirely convinced how good a deal this is, um, let's go back to my office where I'm gonna show you the comps. I'm gonna break down the affordability and show you what how good of a financial deal this is for you um, coming up. So let's head back to my office right now. Welcome back to my office where we, I told you we're gonna go over the comps and the affordability. And I wanna show you something pretty cool about maybe a buy now versus waiting if you're on the fence about this. So let me uh, minimize my face here. And so first of all, I wanted to show you the comps. So we're gonna start here. And the comps are what we're really just shorthand for comparables. These are homes that are similar to the house you're looking at. Um, they should be similar in size and age. 
uh, quality, all those things. Now, rule of thumb is you want about three to five, and I have three here. And I'll show you the, the stats here in a second, but sometimes uh, you really only need one good comp. And this particular comp right here is that comp. It is literally two houses down and it sold um, not too long ago. It's very recent and two houses down and this is the big one. It is the exact same floor plan. So you're talking two houses down, similar quality, exact same floor plan, except for a few subtle differences. So all the pictures are up here at the top of the screen that you can see. Um, how in what I want to show you is that this house, these are laminate countertops, is not as upgraded as the one I'm showing you right now. So this house sold for $330,000. The current asking price for the house that I just showed you is $334. So for $4,000 extra, you are getting a much more upgraded home that's the same size, same floor plan, pretty much same everything. So this is a fantastic comp to show you just what a good value this is. Now I can also go back and show you some of the average pricing here. So it looks like when you average out these three homes that have sold recently, all in the same neighborhood, it comes up to 342,800. This like the home, like I just told you is 334. So it's almost 8,000, eight to $9,000 less than your average here and you're getting a very high quality recently flipped home. By the way, if you'd like a copy of this, just give me a, a comment in um, the video. Let me know you want a copy of the report. Just take copy of the report and I can uh, send this to you. Now, I wanna flip over here. So I put in all the numbers here uh, using what I was assuming to be an H FHA loan, assuming three and a half percent down and 6.25% interest rate. That's what one of my lenders is getting for my clients right now. Um, so keep in mind when I do this, and you know, my, my, my disclaimer here is that you, what you qualify may not be what you see here in the screen. This could vary um, very widely. There's over 30 different numbers that loan officers and, and mortgage rate originators look at to qualify you to get your particular rate on any particular property. So this is an estimate only. However, but looking at this, that would put this house payment of $2,961. Um, so taxes, insurance, MIP and HOA fees. Now the MIP again, that has to do with the FHA loan and that is determined based on your credit. So this might be higher or lower based on what you qualify for. In fact, I think that's required by the FHA is what that says. So, and you would need to bring about $23,000 to close. So all in all, I mean, I know not everyone has $23,000 to sit around the bank account. However, if you're shopping for a home, hopefully you are prepared for this because very low, three and a half percent down payment. It's not 20%, which would have been $60,000 on top of this other stuff. So for $23,000 and a $3,000 monthly payment, the house is all yours. Now, I want to move into one more little um, slide here. I want to show you why it's so, such a good decision to go now. So um, right now, if we look in the next three years, if the house appreciates only at a very conservative three and a half percent per year, this house would be worth about $360,000 in three years. If I continue this on in five years, worth almost $400,000. You would have made $63,000 in five years. But we'll go back just to three. Um, or you're at 370 and you were looking at about $36,000 in appreciation. Here's what some of the experts are predicting for the next couple of years, over the next 12 months it is, sorry. And they're predicting a, it, that will accelerate back to more normal conditions later. But at least for the next 12 months, this is what people, the experts are predicting. Um, and if I go one slide further, let's say you can refi. Well, buy now and then refi in three years. You could probably refi sooner than that. But your purchase price would be 334, you refi the loan, your payments $2,552, but if you wait three years to buy the house, that same house will have appreciated 370, like we said, and even with that lower rate, your payment is $500 higher. Now, if I come back here and I just do this one year, so a lot of experts are saying, buy now, wait for the rate to come down in about a year, what does that look like? Even if you wait just one year, 
purchase price now, then you would refi the loan uh, in a year and your payment's $27.13. If you buy in one year, the house has gone up to $345, like we said. Um, loan, this is what it would be with that 3.5% down payment. And then your payment is $28.85, another $170 higher than it is today just by waiting. Yeah, you got the lower interest rate, but the appreciation and price offset that by more than what you saved in the, the interest rate. So this is the math that I think we're trying to, I'm trying to get a whole, out to as many people as I can right now, that right now is not the best time for a lot of people to buy. That's fine. But if you are in the position to buy and the only thing holding you back is fear or misinformation about just wanting to wait for the lower interest rates, then hopefully this helps get you off the fence because uh, this is a fantastic time to buy a house if you can afford it. I know inflation's going high, affordability is a little low for a lot of people in, in certain areas, but there's still a lot of people out there that have the down payment, they have the finances, it could be the best time to buy right now than it will be, well, buy now and then it'll be much better in five years as you, as you could see. So hopefully that helps. As a property geek and a certified data enthusiast, I like to make decisions based on facts and numbers versus just solely emotion. I know we all get emotionally wrapped up. Buying a home is a big deal, but I wanted to make sure that you understood the comps and saw what I saw about the house. I don't know why I just did that. You know, you see the comps, you see what I see about the house and its value. I wanted to show you what the affordability looks like for your payments and then why it is such a better decision to buy now versus waiting a year or three or even five it could be much worse. So all that wrapped up, hopefully you love this house and you want to come out and see it. Um, hit me up. Uh, the links are in the description and hopefully I will talk to you soon about making an offer on 10336 Trevino Lane. Thanks and have a great day.